Let's do it on me right. 28. Y'all know what we want. Yeah, the, uh, Bishop, they look just like Deacon Malachi. <laughs> hey, hey, I gotta apologize to La about ah, Malachi. Ah. I usually make fun of their nose, you know. But, <laughs> yo, you all guys breathing who, all the white yeah, man's air. You all guys who he what? He Bruick noses, okay? <laughs> Read that, Jello. Deuteronomy. 50 verse 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58. Uh -huh. 15, oh. 28, verse 15. I'm sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 25. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the world. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So now today we're looking at the people of Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands. Actually, those Melanesian islands. We're seeing that they fit the curses that the Bible speaks of. Right? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Read. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. While we were in Papua New Guinea, we saw the military there. We saw Australian military there, uh, British and German. And they were mining. And I think either Captain Joel or your da Captain Yadai asked them, you know, what was going on. And they said they were digging for the bones of the soldiers from World War II. So, you know, the, the, they were digging like 20 feet underground. Who buries people 20 feet below? Bring it out. So they were digging for gold and diamonds oil. and oil. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Go ahead. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. So now we know one of the bywords is kanakas, or blackbirding. These names that Esau puts on our people. Verse 64. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. It's scattered so far, I never heard of the Oceanic Islands. Go ahead. And there, sh and there sh thou shalt serve other gods, mm -hmm. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Christianity is a big one out there. Um, give me the next map. Next map, please. Next map, please. Yes. Now you can see from Europe, they made stops. You see, uh, they took slaves even from South America. You see the stop there? It says uh, Rio uh, de Janeiro. Then they went to Cape Town, and then they went to over there, those islands there, Sydney, Australia, over there, and brought slaves there. Give me the next map. Uh, if you take a look, Papua New Guinea is the red. Top left over there, right there, that's Papua New Guinea. And you can see the arrow goes down to Queensland. And notice those other islands all around. You got Solomon Islands. And what's that one under? He, right, the next one, what's that say? New Hebridity. He, new Hebridity. New Bri yeah. yeah. You see they took all of them. See the arrow going to Australia? There's a, a, all these peoples they took to Australia and got, they got this funky look in Australia, those people over there. Okay, and you see all the arrows. And this is the history of the slave, uh, look, blackbirding. Now, see what they call it blackbirding, forced labor trafficking routes in the Pacific. We really don't even go into this history right here at <laughs> all. But it is a history. And notice it, some of the arrows go to Peru and Guatemala. South, southern Mexico, Hawaii at the top. See, arrows pointing there when they took slaves there too. So when God says the seed of Israel is scattered, he, know, he means exactly what he says. We just got to absorb it and start to understand it. Some camps think only Israelites is in America. 
What the hell wrong with you? <laughs> what? Uh, give me the next book. Read that. Australasia, the Oceanic Region. Mm -hmm. By William Brackley Wildly. Yeah, let's go in. Next book. Next page, I mean. Down to the bottom. In a rise and fall from eight feet to Stop twelve. The varieties. Variety. Varieties of race exist in this great island. The black Papuan inhabits the south coast of New Guinea, apparently from Cape Valsh to Cape Possession in the Gulf of Papua. A hitherto unknown race named Arfax, Arfax. Arfax inhabits so the... So notice a hitherto unknown race. When the most I say he would make the remembrance of us to cease from among men, he meant that thing. Go ahead. Inhabit the mountainous parts of the Northwestern and the pure Malay race from the isles of the Malian archipelago has driven island. Give me, give me the next... Mm -hmm. The Aborigines of the Northwest Coast. Now, the word Aborigines is made up of two words. The first ab, ab right there means to abhor. Origin means the originals. So, literally, that means to hate the originals. That's what, it, that's what that word is. It's made up of two words. Read that again. The Aborigines of And we the use it like a normal thing. You're the Aborigines. God hates the originals. <laughs> Everybody hates them. It's crazy. But go ahead. I'm sorry. The, the Aborigines of the Northwest Coast, they are semi-civilized Mohammedans, professing Dutch allegiance. The fourth, our first visited race, is a distinctly Malian, but differs from the pure Malay, being smaller in stature, coarser in feature, thicker lipped, with less hair on the face, being almost beardless. The hair of the head is also more frizzled. They have high cheekbones, like the pure Malay, their noses are inclined to be aqu aquiline. aquiline. Their eyes are dark and beautiful with good eyebrows. Amongst them, we met many men with light hair and a particularly Jewish cast of When we feature. were in, what was it, Papua New Guinea, so a lot of them had yellow hair. No, that was, that was with Solomon Islands? Okay. We saw a lot of groups with yellow, black with yellow hair. It was really weird. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Their height is from 5 feet 4 inches to 5 feet 8 inches. They are slight, graceful, and eel-like in the pliability of their bodies. This race abuts on the black Papuan, but no distinct fixed line of demarcation exists. This new race appears to inhabit the whole of the eastern peninsula of New Guinea, and also the newly discovered archipelago of islands adjacent. Mm -hmm. I approach these people with caution. Right. Can you know cannibalism is, was going on years ago when you read up on them? And I, when I say years ago, I don't mean centuries. I'm talking maybe eight years ago, stuff like that. What is the nation? <laughs> the nation is men leading by example. family.